This house was built in 1835 to accommodate a, a family who had built a paper mill on the river. The Whitewater River is about 100 yards out in front of this house. I grew up in this town of Brookville, Indiana and uh, moved away for many years and then 30 years ago I moved back here with my family and made this particular residence called The Hermitage my home. I decided to turn it into a bed and breakfast in 1998. In 1835 it was much smaller than it is today because in 1898 the artists came, T.C. Steele and J. Otis Adams. They had been painting for the summer in 1897 in Metamora, Indiana, and decided to take a horseback ride down here to Brookville. When they got here, they saw this beautiful river valley. This house was for sale. They decided to purchase it and move to Brookville, Indiana. They built a studio room on the north and the south ends of the building. One is the north studio, and it belongs to Mr. J. Otis Adams. And the south studio was Mr. Steele's. Whatever they built onto the west washed off in the 1913 flood. Ten rooms washed off this house, and so it was restored after the 1913 flood to what it looks like today, and it is now a 19-room house on six and a half acres of land. It's hard to fill 19 rooms, and so we bought the house with the understanding that uh, the little lady would leave all of the antiques from 100 years ago. The library is exactly the same, including the books on the shelves. The artists named J. Otis Adams and T.C. Steele were contemporary and uh, very well known for the time period in which they lived and painted. The Hoosier Group was a uh, group of painters that uh, really began with uh, three individuals, T.C. Steele, uh, William Forsyth, and J. Otis Adams. They were all from Indiana. These gentlemen believed that there was a possibility for identifying a truly American art. These gentlemen deserve a lot of credit for organizing themselves and being ambitious to become artists, uh, gathering up their own funding and uh, traveling to Munich, Germany to study at the Royal Academy there. In the 1870s, Mr. Adams went to Kensington, England to study art for a couple of years came back to Indiana, met up with uh, T.C. Steele and uh, William Forsyth and Otto Stark. They all became friends and friends within the realm of artistry. But uh, the three of them went to Munich, Germany for seven years to study Impressionism. And uh, then they came back to Indiana. They started the John Heron Art Institute in Indianapolis and many other schools of art. They took in art students to study with them, and that was one reason they needed or liked this big house here, because they could bring students to stay with them. And this being a very beautiful, scenic river valley, I thought that was a good place. Having stayed here you know, numerous times and actually painted in uh, T.C. Steele's with his north window that's just up here, there's a north window, so you get that nice, even north light. I had an opportunity to paint there, and that was like, you know, you sort of pinch yourself kind of thing. The uniqueness of the bed and breakfast is that it offers not only a place to stay, but an, a home that was once uh, inhabited by famous Indiana artists of antiquity. 